We got Des Green back here on the program. He's going to be getting a homecoming on May 18th. He's going to be fighting at UFC Rochester against a newcomer in Charles Jordan. Des, you must be ecstatic, man. How are you? Oh, man, I'm good, bro. I'm good. Uh, ecstatic is an understatement. Like, man, just just the, just the thought of it puts, like, a smile on my face. I can't even shake. Uh, like I, I was telling you earlier, every morning I wake up, and it's just like I'm counting down the days for Christmas. It's like, man can't wait yeah we were talking off air i was at your fight in buffalo and uh you know that's close to rochester but you had a, a ton of fan support i mean i remember that building was just popping but you're saying in rochester it's going to be like triple that it's going to be crazy oh uh, like literally double the love triple the love i promise you like buffalo is my second home so like this is my first home and uh yeah and, like the dallas when i first got signed like people were in but they weren't really really on to it now, you know what I mean? I've got a few fights in. They see, like, this is a real deal. He's, like, he's a contender type. Oh, man, they're going to be coming out by the by the dozens for sure. A few hundred people easily. I'm guessing above, like, man, I, I can't even put a number on over 500. We, we talked after your last win. That was a, a great performance against Ross Pearson. And, uh, you know, I know that you, you had you know, been very vocal you wanted on this card. Uh, how much of a realistic possibility did you think it was after you had that win? Did the UFC give you, like, a heads up? Uh, so actually, they gave, they gave me a heads down. Um, like a couple weeks ago, bro, my manager told me they were trying hard, and uh, he's like, "Yo, Sean told me the cards filled up. They were trying to push. They were gonna try, but he's like, "Yo, listen, Sean, look, he can't rearrange anybody. They got nobody on contract that wants to take it. That makes sense." And then you know, and I'm just like, "I'll fight anybody. It doesn't matter." And he's like, "Yeah, the only thing's gonna happen." So you know, I kept the faith, and I just. I kept training and, you know, I was shooting that fight in, in um, like, June, July anyway. So on Good Friday, bro, I'm real religious. It was the Lord. And on Good Friday, I got the call. And my man's like, yo, Sean just called me and said he's going to make it happen. He knows how much, you you know, you want to be on this card. You are Rochester. They're going to put you on. And uh, by Tuesday, they had an opponent. And I was like, yes to anyone. So we made it happen. Yeah, it's uh, it's great to see here. Now, when did you find out you were actually fighting Charles? Because uh, I I know you had like confirmed that you were on the card. Did you know then, or was it after that you found out about the opponent? No. So they called me on Good Friday and said, "Listen, we're gonna put you on the card. We gotta find somebody." Um, you know, my manager told me that he, he told me that you know we don't have anybody really on uh, on contracts or maybe a newcomer or something like that. He's like, "They're gonna find somebody for you." You know, this is Good Friday. This is on last Friday. So. Uh, you know, Saturday, Sunday went by, Monday went by, I didn't hear nothing. So I'm like, oh, man, like, I really hope, like, I know they want to put me on there, but I hope we find somebody. And then Tuesday, uh, Charles Jordan name came up, and I just was like, yeah. I, my, my manager already knew to say yeah, but I just was like, yeah, for sure. Whoever is agreeing to find me, I'll do it. How do you feel like you match up against him in this fight? I'm sure uh, you've been able to see his fights on UFC Fight Pass because TKO is uh, all on there. Uh, Yeah. I looked at his fights actually like two days ago, and uh, you know, not not taking nothing from him, but um, I really I was like, man, like this is a good fight for me. This is a great matchup. I love the way he fights stylistically. Uh, he had a his lonely loss came to a wrestler. I'm like one of the toughest wrestlers that comes, and uh, and my striking is second and none. Like my striking is only getting better, so I like this fight. Uh, I I really think it's a bad matchup for him, but you know when the UFC calls you, you got to take that fight. Yeah, I was at his last loss actually when he fought TJ Laramie. I think that's the fight you're referencing. That was a title yeah. fight. And, uh, yeah, and I watched that on Fight Pass, and I was like, yeah, bro. <laughs> This guy, TJ, doesn't, he's nowhere near my caliber. Not to take anything away from him again, but, you know, different weight class, different size, everything. So Yeah, no, it's true. And actually, TJ is trying to fight at bantamweight now, which is hilarious. So it's just, it's interesting to see how people have moved around now, weight classes. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about hard knocks, man. You got a lot of teammates fighting right now. Actually, the time we're recording this, you've got Tyler Ray and Jason Jackson fighting tonight. Uh, also, uh, Jackson is the main event uh, fighting against Harvey Park. And then you got a bunch of other fighters competing. Like, the, the, the room must be great right now just with everyone competing oh yeah bro yeah we got a lot like a lot you know we got like i said we got both the jacksons marquez and jason we got tyler ray we got gilbert tomorrow um the room is just on fire uh you know um nothing but the best suck my teammates tonight i hope they all bring it home and then i mean if you fast forward two more and then we actually got some more guys fighting on titan actually we got i think we got like three guys fighting on the titan card tonight so i think we got like 
six guys competing this weekend all together. And if you fast forward three weeks, we got four of us on the same card. So the, the room and the room is just at an all time high right now. I mean, it's a perfect opportunity. At, you know, Kush coming off that title win. Now everybody's lined up, ready to go. Uh, yeah, we're we're all fired up in the room. Uh, do you get to work with Vicente Luque? Because I know that that must be nice that he's been in the room now. I know a lot of times he's in Brazil, and, and for this camp, he's actually getting to train with you guys, and he's he's a killer. Yeah, yeah. Actually, me and him were just uh, we just had a sparring session. When was it? Uh, Tuesday. Nice little sparring session. Uh, you know, I love going with Luque. Like you said, he's he's a beast with it. Uh, but yeah, me and him, me and him, uh, we go together all the time. I love going with like all uh, like him, Gilbert. Those guys really make me push hard. Is the cut easier this time around because of the the full? Like, because you're getting kind of a quick turnaround. I don't imagine you because I, I you figured that you were going to get on this card potentially. Yeah, yeah, I, I just jumped right back into camp. Honestly, I was right. Like, uh, I want, like I said, I, I, I wanted to be on there, and even if not, I was going to fight in June or July, planning. So, you know, I didn't. I really didn't take too much time off. I, I held up a couple of injuries, but you know, it's been focused. I, I've been like on it steadily since the last fight. And uh, my condition right now is just through the roof. So uh, it's going to be a scary, it's going to be scary that uh, my May 18. Who's going to be in your corner that night? Uh, it's going to be Henry Hoof, uh, Greg Choplin, and my college coach, Cashabon, Jeff Cashabon. We're going to see another finish. Your last fight. I oh, mean, yeah. that, that seems to be, uh, oh, bro, I think the old Des Green's back, man. Yeah, oh, for sure, bro. I'm, I'm like aggressiveness, man. I, I'm back to that in like first five fights, and I just went out there and didn't even worry about what my opponent was doing. Didn't worry about getting tired. I just knew I had to put my stuff down. Now, the focus is on May 18th, and this is like the pinnacle. I mean, it probably won't. It's going to be the highlight of your year for sure, getting to fight there. But uh, is the plan to take a little bit of time off? Because, I mean, this is very close together. Uh, I, I guess it just depends how the fight goes and if you're, you know, unscathed. No, bro. Yeah, if I finish this guy, I'm trying to cash checks. They could throw me right back in there, fight, <laughs> fight me. I know they probably won't, but no, bro. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get right back in there within another, within the next three months after this fight. Um, before I let you go here, you're a family man. I always love seeing your updates on Instagram. Uh, how's the little one doing? And how was Easter? We just had that uh, this past weekend. Oh, the kids are great, man. Little one, four month old, is getting big. Uh, I actually got all four of my kids down here. My oldest is on spring break from uh, from the Bronx, so she's down here, you know, loving life and uh, just beautiful, man. Coming off that win, having all four of my kids down here, now training again. You know, they get to see, you know, they get to see the ups and downs. The, so I love it, man. I love it. It's great. That's great. Does your oldest will is she is she able to go to the fights or do you do you kind of like ah, yeah, we'll, we'll wait yeah. a little bit, yeah. No, no, she comes to all of them, man. All of my kids come to all of them, yeah. Every fight that's in the States, my kids come to. It's like they're my biggest motivation. Bro, they like they all, they all sleep in my hotel room the night before the fight. Like, yeah, we pack it in. Yeah, and I like how you call them your legacies, man. I think that's so cool. As a fellow uh, dad, I can relate to that. Like my son yeah, right now, he's getting to that good, age where he's starting to live through yeah. them, man. When it's all said and done with our story, they uh, we, we gotta live through theirs. Awesome. Well, Daz, I'm so happy for you. Uh, really, really glad to see you get this fight. Uh, we're looking forward to it. It's, it's a stack card, actually. May 18th, UFC Rochester. Uh, just remind people where they can find you on social media, and if you have any sponsors or shout outs, the floor is yours, man. Yeah, uh, Predator Tune, you know, P R E D A T O R T O O N. Uh, that's uh, Instagram, Twitter, uh, Snapchat, Random Tune. And, uh, you know, just shout out my team, HK. Shout out uh, KO Zone, my Muay Thai coach, Greg Choplin, you know, Henry Hoof, the whole gang, Greg Jones, Kami Bear. You know, shout out the team. First round management, too. Hey.